All right, everyone. I have voting video number 90 for you today. It's going to be on Field of Dreams, one of the biggest Mandela effects I think that many people have experienced. Now, as promised, I have some incredible reality residue that I don't think many people have seen, and I'll have that here in the first, not this here, but it'll be coming up shortly. So let's get into this. Do you really think there's not going to be football this year? I sure hope not. If you build it, they will come. If you build what, who will come? The voices didn't say. So we have a Field of Dreams 2 NFL lockout. This is from uh, about five years ago. And then I have a Los Angeles Times article here from the man who wrote the book that the movie was based on. And the Los Angeles Times has the quote that many of us remember. Key turns of phrases in Kinsella's book. If you build it, they will come and go the distance. Have taken their place in literature's lexicon and among Hollywood's most memorable movie lines. Okay, Los Angeles Times. Now here's what I was telling you about. I don't think many people have seen this. Someone emailed this to me. And this is Northern Exposure. It's from a show that was filmed around 1990 to 1995. So this is the sixth season. I believe this is 1995. So about six years after the Field of Dreams movie. And let's see what they have here. Say what? Electricity. I'm here. It's there. And I can't figure out how to get inside it, how to beat it. Without getting fried, anyway. And my muse, she ain't telling me how. Even if. If you build it, they will come. That's what the voice told Kevin Cosner in Field of Dreams. Kevin, he's got this foreign field, and the voice said, If you build a baseball field, they will come. So he built this field. Yeah, they came, didn't they? All those cars, they came that field. What Einstein say? There's no room both for field and matter, because field is the only reality. That's how I get excited. The field. Come they did. There's all the cars. The movie was talking about the entire time. Build it and they will come. The baseball team, the cars, the people. To me, this is what the movie was about. The fact that his father came was just an added bonus. That's not what it was about. Build it and he will come was not the film. That's not my memory and a lot of other people's memories of the film. Here we have Kevin Costner returns to Field of Dreams for a round of catch. This was a couple years ago, 25 year anniversary. I want to point out something very important here. In, a, in, in the interview that he did. But let's look at this here. If you build it, they will come. And come again 25 years later. This is a time. Here's a book. If you build it, they will buy. <laughs> a field of dreams. Actor Kevin Costner, whom people often confuse with uh, me with, the author, I guess, Plays an Iowa corn farmer struggling to pay the mortgage on his homestead. He's out farming one day and hears a voice like a loud whisper in the wind. If you build it, they will come. And in the end, he does build it and they do come. Here's another book. Field of Dreams, 1989 movie starring Kevin Costner about an American farmer who hears voices telling him to build a baseball diamond, baseball playing field, in his cornfield. He's ridiculed, 
But the voices tell him, if you build it, they will come. They meaning the ghosts of all-time great baseball players. He builds a diamond and they come indeed, including legendary players of the Chicago Black Sox. Field of Dreams has become a mantra. For if you build it, they will come. Approach to business. A lot of businesses use that. It gets imprinted in the back of your mind. You know what the line has become in popular culture now? People say, if you build it, they will come. But the actual line is, if you build it, he will come. He, he is your dad. He is your dad. So here's Bob Costas saying, you know what popular culture remembers, basically pointed out the Mandela effect here. And now really listen to Kevin Costner's response. Just to look on his face. I feel like... He feels like, I don't know, I feel like he knows something's going on here. He doesn't remember it being the, listen to his response. It's just, just weird. It's a weird response. Yeah, that, you know, it, it's part of the language now across the country. And it's part of the language now across the country. If you build it, they will come. I believe is what he's referring to as opposed to, he will come because he just point out the misconception. Now listen to what he says. Movies at their best are about moments that you never ever forget. Movies at their best about moments you never forget. Now why is everyone forgetting this, this famous whisper in the fields, this moment? His response is so bizarre, it doesn't make any sense. Moving along, we have, uh, if you build it, they will come. It's all over the place. I'm just pointing out, this is one of the biggest Mandela effects ever. They whisper, if you build it, they will come. Everyone thinks he's crazy. And in the end of the film, they do indeed come. That's what the film was about. The thing about, if you build it, he will come. He is about his father. That's an added bonus to me when I watch the movie. I always enjoyed this movie. I remember it all being about the baseball team and all the cars in the end. We also have that famous speech by James Earl Jones talking about the people will come, Ray. Just, you know, they're, they're going to come. It's all That's what the whole thing was all about. If you build a super cheesy bachelor teaser, fans will come. So if you build it, they will come, which is a classic line from the 89 classic Field of Dreams. Uh, time, uh, this is TV Guide here. And it's just some other little clip I found I decided to throw in. If you kill them, they will come. Build what? Oh my God. Johannes Wagner. Unbelievable. I'm here to help. <laughs> so just a little parody there with they will come. Looks like I overloaded my computer here again. I've been putting this thing to work here lately the past year. <laughs> All right, so this is very important here. Google Trends. If you build it, he will come is the blue line. There has never, ever in the past 12 years been more people searching for he will come than they will come. I mean, sometimes, like here, there's what, 14 times the amount of people looking for they will come? And even here recently you have three times. Here you have seven times. I mean, it's from... A lot of times there's there's 10 times the amount of people looking for they will come. Here's um what is this? Another 14 times here. So anyway, you get the point with Google Trends. Moving along. Ray. People will come, Ray. They'll come to Iowa for reasons they can't even fathom. 
They turn up your driveway, not knowing for sure why they're doing it. They'll come to Iowa. They'll arrive at your door, as innocent as children, longing for the past. The crook. We won't mind if you look around, you'll say. It's only $20 per person. They'll pass over the money without even thinking about it. But it's money they have, and peace they like. Right. They'll come. They'll